I cannot believe what happened last night, Elena. Well, sis, it was pretty interesting, wasn't it? Our brother has the absolute worst taste in girls of all time. I know, and he insists on bringing them all here to meet us. And always at my house. Why does it have to be at my house? I'm tired of having all these strange women in my house. Well, mom and dad's house is a frickin' mess. I don't take any of my boyfriends there. True, but if he wants us to meet them, why can't we just go out to eat or something? Well, you want the honest truth? No, I want the dishonest lies. Yes, I want the truth. And I'd be expecting nothing less from my sister Vivian. Well, it's because your family has money and he wants to show it off. So just because I married a talent agent, I should have hosted the Ditz Olympics? Better you than me. Well, still, this is the last time. I swear, no more of Nate's girls allowed in my home. Jeez, so judgmental. Remind me to never bring any of my girlfriends over to your place. Well, when you get one, I will. Shut up. I'm tired. She was exhausting. So I'm just not being mean? No, and you know I'd tell you if you were. She was awful. Right? She hogged the entire conversation. She'd even talked while she ate. I know, I was so happy that Paul's been in New York having meetings. He probably would have been sick. He has a very sensitive stomach for a Hollywood talent agent. Yeah, well, he's not a big fan of Nate these days. Oh, really? You didn't tell me this. Yeah, not since the last girl he brought over. What was that one's name? Monique? Monica? Marquis? Marquis? I, I don't know. It's early and they all have weird names. Well, anyway, I know the one you're talking about. The one you asked her what her heritage was? Ugh, yeah. But what about the other one? Jessicandra? Oh, right, right. Jessicandra. Yeah, can't forget that name. What was that about again? I think it was her parents couldn't decide on Jessica or Andrea, so they combined them. <laughs> it's like the human centipede of names. Oh, come on, Vivian. I'm eating yogurt over here. Oh, yeah? What kind? Greek Giovanni. What flavor? It's plain. Yuck. Ew, you know what? This spoon is dirty. I have to get another one. See, I told you. You don't scrub the silverware. You're sloppy with it. Oh, whatever. Shut up. I found a shred of cinnamon life cereal on a spoon last night that had been on there for... Who knows how long? How did you know it was cinnamon? Did you try to taste it? You freak. I said zip it, kid. Oh my god, Vivian. What? I'm looking through the silverware drawer. The big one, the one with grandma's stuff. And there's like two sets missing. Two sets? Really? Yeah, that's really odd. Well, when's the last time you used them? I don't know, never. They're in that cedar box. I just open it and look at them sometimes when people are being boring. Oh, me? Are you talking about me? Who? You? Nah. Well, where do you think they could have gone to? I, I don't know. I mean, I just saw them here a few days ago when... Yeah? When what? When you were droning on about that episode of Law & Order. Well, it was a really good episode. I couldn't help it. Your description went on a lot longer than the episode itself. Well, what do you think happened to the silverware? I don't know. I mean, do you think maybe... What? Do you think maybe Olivia? Oh my god. Nate's girlfriend stole grandma's silverware? I'm not saying that. Yeah, but I just did. I have no proof whatsoever, Vivian. Well, who else could it have been? Paul's been in New York. You don't have kids. You don't have a housekeeper. You don't have a dog. And I certainly have no interest in that crap. Nice, Vivian. Real nice. Well, I'm sorry. No offense to Grandma. I loved her, but just not into silverware. Well, I doubt that Olivia is either. But I'm sure she would be into how much they'd be worth. What? Are they worth a lot or something? Well, they're sterling silver. And they were Grandma's. And she never skimped. 
so they're bound to be worth something. Well, damn, if I had known that, I would have taken some. Too late you got the armoires. Ugh, fine. Well, what are you gonna do? You have to be sure before you start causing mischief here. Oh my god, Vivian. What? The pearl brooch. What pearl brooch? Grandma's pearl brooch is missing too. I had it on my dresser last night. What do you have? A bunch of grandma's old stuff just laying around or something? I was showing it to my friend Noelle and I didn't put it away. And now it's gone. She took the brooch. I can't believe it. Wait, how did you get her brooch? You could have had that too. But you picked the liquor cabinet instead, remember? Oh, right. Well, that ended up being a good choice. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, you know what this means, don't you? Know what? Well, it means we've got a klepto on our hands. Our brother's dating a klepto, great. Perhaps she stole his heart? Hilarious Vivian, thanks for adding a little levity to the situation. My pleasure. In the meantime, I'm left with the inevitable task of approaching our little brother about this. You can do it, sis. I believe in you. Thanks, Vivian. I really appreciate it. Don't, uh, mention my name. Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, Elena. Hey, I wanted to thank you again for having Olivia and I last night. She had a really great time. Oh, great. I'm glad. She's sweet, isn't she? Oh, yes. So sweet. So sweet. And you're cooking? Mmm. Amazing, as usual. Ugh, well, I ordered in, but I suppose there's still some effort involved. Well, whatever it was, delicious. Delicious. Well, it's really no problem, Nate. Um, it never is. And I appreciate you not making a big deal about the whole gluten-free vegan dessert thing. Oh, no, it's not a big deal, really, Nate. She's very sensitive about her diet, so I really, really appreciate it. Well, don't mention it. She really liked your house. Oh, uh, she did? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, really. Oh, that's good, I guess. So, uh, what did you think of her? Uh, um, what did I think of her? Well, yeah. That's why I brought her there. To see what you thought of her. Me and Vivian? Well, uh, no. I don't really care what Vivian thinks, to be honest. I just wish Paul was able to be there, though. Oh, yeah, Paul. Uh, well, he so wishes he could have been there. Yeah, I'm really eager to hear what he has to think of her, if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, Nate, there's something I need to talk to you about. Um, okay? What? Well, while I really do appreciate having you both last night... I noticed something a little strange this morning. Strange what? I didn't forget to flush the hallway bathroom again, did I? No, no, it's not that. Well, I don't think so, but I'll have to check then. What is it? Well, I was going through some silverware and I found a couple of Grandma's old sterling silver sets missing. Uh, okay. So what? Yeah, but there's also a pearl brooch that I had in my bedroom, and it was Grandma's, too. A booch? A brooch. I don't even know what that is. Well, I didn't expect you to either, but never nevertheless, they're missing. So what? You think I stole them? No, I don't think so. I mean, you wouldn't have any reason to, would you? Uh, no. I mean, you weren't on drugs or anything, are you? What? No. I'm high on life, sis. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, I have to ask you, is it debt? Have you been gambling again? Blackjack? Do you owe that guy more money in Vegas? I told you he was trouble, Nate. No, the rehab worked. And you know that, Elena. Okay, well that only leaves one person. You mean Vivian? No, not Vivian. Olivia, Nate. Wait. You think Olivia stole Grandma's crappy old antiques? Well, who else? Well, that is one hell of an accusation, sis. I gotta tell you. And are you sure you really want to go down this road with us? With us? You're already in us now? You've been dating for like three weeks. Yeah, we're us. That's right. 
I think she may be the one, actually. Oh, the one? What about all the other number ones? Well, I thought they were number ones at the time. Funny, to everyone else, they all seemed like number twos. Oh, real funny, real mature. I think I learned that one from you. Well, when would Olivia have a chance to steal any of that stuff? Wasn't she with us the entire time? Well, except the four times she got up to use the bathroom. She has an overactive bladder. It's a very sensitive issue. Okay, well, how else would you explain all the stuff going missing? When I'd just seen it. I saw the silver bar just the other day. I saw the brooch yesterday. Well, maybe you're getting early onset Alzheimer's or something. How should I know? Nice, very sensitive, Nate. Well, it wasn't her. I'm sure of that. How well do you know her, Nate? I know her well enough to know that she'd never do anything like that. And how is that? What makes her so good? Well, she works at a soup kitchen every Saturday for one. Okay, that's something. And she always gives money to homeless people when we pass them in the street. That is very generous of her, but people are full of contradictions, Nate. Well, you have no real proof. But I have the powers of deduction. Well, good luck with those. I doubt they'll get you far in life. Could you at least ask her about it? You want me to ask my girlfriend if she stole my sister's stuff? Are you serious right now? I like having a girlfriend, Elena. Well, you want me to ask her for you? Oh, yeah. I'm sure that would go over well. Well, how are we going to get to a resolution here, little bro? I don't know. How about you just maybe look for that stuff instead of automatically accusing people? Okay, Nate, we'll see if it turns up. And if I'm wrong, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm not, I'll owe you big time. Okay. What will you owe me? What do you mean? I mean, this accusation of yours is so egregious. Oh, yeah? Where'd you learn that word? That I want this to be a bet. Oh, so you kind of make this interesting to you. Yeah. If it's not her, you owe me a thousand bucks. Oh, a thousand bucks a little steep, don't you think? Or you could just give me the silverware and booch. Brooch, Nate, not booch, for God's sake. And no, that will never happen. And those are worth much more than a thousand, believe me. Oh, oh, really? And many times over. Well, then what? It has to be something. How about dinner at my place with the family? Mom's lasagna recipe and just you. None of your little three-week floozies. Three-week floozies? That's pretty good, huh? Not much of a deal for me. But whatever, Elena. Have it your way. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. Hey, what's going on? Nothing much. Just working on a few leads. Oh yeah? Are you any closer to solving the mystery of the missing old crap? No, nothing. And Nate certainly hasn't been very cooperative with this investigation. Do you think he told her about it? I don't know. I would hope that he wouldn't be stupid enough to cause that kind of drama. But who really knows with him? What did Paul have to say about it? I didn't even tell him. God knows how he'd react. Plus, he's been busy with the contestants of some new reality show. Oh, great. Just what we need. Another one of those. It puts food on the table, what can I say? That doesn't make it right, Elena. Yeah, yeah. At least I don't steal people's silverware. Well, let's see. What could we do? We could just ask her ourselves. Um, are you serious? Yeah, why not? Uh, because Nate would never speak to us again. Oh, come on. That relationship would be over in a week anyway. He'll forget about it in a day. He has the memory of a turtle. A slow turtle. A slower turtle than a usual turtle. He'll get over it. Plus, we'd be doing him a huge favor. Yeah, I guess you're right. But still, they're going to go nuclear. She definitely seemed like she could have a temper. Yeah, that story about the guy at the gas station? Scary. Guess I'll never cut in front of her in line when her blood sugar is low. Or ever. Well, I'm giving him a ride to GameStop tomorrow. I can go through his phone and get her number for you. Oh, okay, wonderful. So, uh, good luck with all of that. You're going to need it. 
If it all goes bad, I don't know, maybe Nate really will hate you forever. Well, that's okay. I'll just tell him it was your idea. Oh, really? Why would you do that? Because it was. Okay, well, yeah, I guess that's true. So, are you going to demand the stuff back? Well, hell yeah, I'm going to demand my stuff back. And I'm going to tell her I'm calling the cops if she doesn't fork it over. No pun intended. Post haste. Are you really going to call the cops, though? Of course. Do you know how much that stuff was worth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it already. Jeez. All right, well, you focus on getting that number and get back to me. And I'll try and think about what I'm going to say. So what's your first instinct? What do you mean? I mean, what would you lead with? How would you broach the subject? Hilarious. I know. I don't know. I guess I'm going to ask her if she knows anything about the missing silverware or pearl brooch. Uh, you're leading with that? And you think that's going to get you somewhere? Well, I don't know. Why don't you just let me take care of this, Elena? What? I thought you didn't want to be involved. Just give me your phone, and I'll pretend I'm you. Okay, great. So I'll be on a hook for whatever crazy thing you say to her? Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Fine, Vivian, do your thing. This should be fun. Hello. Is this, uh, Olivia Mahoney? Um, yes it is. May I ask who this is? Hi, this is Hanny Rhodes. I'm a producer with Antiques Roadshow. Are you familiar with the program on PBS? Oh, well, yes, I'm a huge fan, actually. I, I have been since I was a teenager. I used to watch it with my grandparents. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Well, we're coming to your town and are doing random call surveys of residents asking if they possibly have antiques or collectibles that they would be interested in presenting on the show for appraising. Oh, really? Well, I'm not really a collector per se. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, I have some pieces that my grandparents left me, but nothing too fancy, I don't think. I mean, nothing that would be of any real value. Well, uh, you never really know with these things until you examine them. There can always be fortunate surprises. Oh, yes. I've seen those in the show many times. Well, it wouldn't have to be furniture, of course. We have all sorts of items, as you know. Art vases, china, silverware. Oh, really? Yes, and of course, jewelry. Yes, jewelry, of course. So, would you happen to have anything like that? You know, I did recently come into a few items. Oh, really, now? Yes, my aunt died in December and left us with some things. Some of them could be of value. Who knows, right? Well then, so you'd be interested? Well, sure. I mean, if there's anything of value, the money could go to the soup kitchen I volunteer at. Oh, really? Well, yes, that would be nice. Okay, well, I have your information, so I'll be in touch, I guess. That's great. Wow, I'm really excited. I've never been on TV before. Well, of course, we can't guarantee that your segment would be televised. It would depend on your items. Well, right, of course, that makes sense. So, these items, though, could you tell me what they are? Oh, well, there are some figurines. Little troll-like guys. I think they may be Dutch. Little trolls? Yeah, and some wooden clogs. Clogs, you say? Yeah. She was big into Dutch stuff, if you couldn't tell. Hmm. Interesting. So you don't have any silverware or pearl brooches? Oh, no. Nothing like that, unfortunately. I wish. Tough some of that stuff goes for a lot, right? Yeah, some of it does. Are you sure you don't have anything like that, Miss Mahoney? Um, no. I'm pretty sure I don't. If I did, I'd bring it there. Okay, Mrs. Mahoney. Let's speak soon. Goodbye now. Oh, okay then. Goodbye. Hey, bro. What's up? Oh, well. Hello there, stranger. 
Have you gotten over your stupid accusations yet? Yeah, I have. And I wanted to tell you how sorry I am for all of that. I was really out of line, you know? Oh, yeah, well, I know. I mean, yeah, you were. I never should have gone to you and accused Olivia of stealing Grandma's stuff. No, no, you shouldn't have. That was really messed up, Elena. You owe me dinner now, don't you? You know what? I really think I do. But maybe not in the way you realize yet. What do you mean? Well, I decided to go directly to the source and just ask Olivia about the stuff. What? Why did you do that? What did she say? Well, she denied it, of course. The liar she is. So I called the cops. No way. Yep, and they arrested her. And she's downtown right now, sitting in a jail cell. But... But how... How could they have... On what evidence? Well, she took them, right? No! I did! Aha! I knew it! Alright, I confess. I took them. It's that Jack guy, isn't it? It's Blackjack. Yeah, yeah. Alright. I'll give them back. I still have them. You better still have them. You better start driving for Uber or going to Gamblers Anonymous meetings again. You're right. I will. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just think and learn. And I accused that poor girl. Ugh, I feel terrible. Not as bad as I do. Well, you should. And we'll deal with that. But in the meantime, bring me back the friggin' brooch. Yes, ma'am. Nate ended up going back to his Gamblers Anonymous meetings. And after driving an Uber for a while, he was finally able to pay Jack back. After their trust issues were repaired, Elena finally let him back into her house. With the valuables tentatively locked up, Vivian continued to be the smart Alex she was. Olivia ended up going on Antiques Roadshow in San Diego, where her aunt's clogs and trolls were valued at over $25,000.